Hello everyone, uh, I'm Reza Rad and today I'm going to talk about uh, direction of relationships in Power BI. Power BI is a tool that um, you can uh, create a data model in it, but it's slightly different from other tools that you usually create a data model. Um, in uh, SQL Server, in Oracle, in other tools, when you create a data model, you create a relationship between tables. And usually that's just a single relationship. But in Power BI, we have something called direction of the relationship. So uh, today I'm going to talk about what the direction of relationship is. And it is important to know that this is very uh, important parts of your Power BI modeling. You should know what the direction of relationship means. So let's have a look. Uh, here I have a Power BI uh, desktop report. And in this Power BI desktop report, I'm getting data from AdventureWorks example. If you don't have that example, you can download it from the blog post link that I have under this video. Uh, now in this AdventureWorks uh, uh, database, I'm getting three tables, a uh, dim product table, dim customer table, and fact internet sales table. And I load the data of these three tables into Power BI. AdventureWorks is a sample Microsoft database example. I have the Excel file example of that here. Now that uh, these uh, three files, uh, these three uh, data tables are loaded into Power BI, my uh, action is to create some report. But let's first have a look at the relationship between these tables. Power BI basically creates a relationship between tables automatically based on the field name. Uh, you can change it if you want to, but in this case, we already have the relationship because field names are matching. Uh, so I'll go to the relationship tab. I'll go to the relationship tab and I see that these tables are related already to each other. Let me just make it bigger. Uh, so I can see these tables are related to each other and I have something really important here called direction of the relationship. Every relationship uh, has a direction of the relationship. When you look at the relationship, there is a direction. Usually the direction is from one side of relationship to the many side of the relationship. That direction of relationship means the way that filtering applies in Power BI. It means that dim uh, product or dim customer, in this case, let's say dim customer can filter fact table or dim product can filter fact table. This is what the direction of relationship means. So direction of relationship is the way that filtering works. Now, if I go to the report and I create a table visual uh, with just uh, education from customer table and sales amount from the fact table, then you can see that this is filtering quite easily. So education, which is coming from customer table, is filtering the data in the sales amount. So the slicing and dicing will happen because the direction of relationship supports that. That is the meaning of direction of relationship. You can filter based on these direction of relationship. Same thing happens when I filter data from product table to the fact internet sales table. Uh, so, so far, we understand what the direction of relationship means. It means how the filter propagates, but uh, but so far nothing was strange. Everything was quite simple to understand. Now let's think about scenario that you want to filter data uh, on the other way around. Let's say I want to filter the data in product table based on something in fact table. The direction of relationship only allows from fact from product to fact, not from fact to product. So what is the example? Let's go through an example. I'll just create another table here. And in this table, I filter, uh, I put education, English education from customer, and I bring product key from the product. Uh, when I bring product key from the product, it obviously show me list of product keys because I want to uh, get the count of product keys. I click on this little uh, triangle here and I select count. So I have count of product key, but what you see here is the count of product key regardless of education 
category is always 606. It looks like that there is no relationship between these two tables. But let's have a look at the relationship section here. You can see that there is a relationship. The relationship is based on fact internet cells. It is relating these two together. So why is that? Why we cannot get the right result? The reason is exactly because of the direction of relationship. Uh, so let me make it a bit bigger so I can show it to you. Here I have dim customer and here I have dim product. In the first example, I filtered a uh, fact table based on dim customer. In this example, I'm filtering dim product all the way from customer table, right? And uh, it is possible to filter this way because the direction of relationship allows that, but it is not possible to filter this way because the direction of relationship only allows from fact table to, uh, sorry, from product table, from dimension product to the fact table. It doesn't allow relationship from fact table uh, to be filtering the product table. What I need to do is I need to make this relationship a both directional relationship. I need to be able to filter in both ways in this way or in this way. So that is why you may need a both directional relationship. I double click on this relationship and to change a relationship to a both directional, it's a simple change. You just go to both directional and then click on it. Now it is a both direction relationship. And if you go to the report, you will see that it is showing you the right result, right? So both directional relationship can be an answer when the filtering is not the way that single direction is answering. However, very important uh, uh, critical point here. Uh, based on what you learned so far, you think that, okay, both directional relationship seems much better uh, option. Why should I use single directional relationship? Why not changing everything to both directional? The fact is that if you change everything to both directional, uh, even if you change some of these to both directional, your model will have uh, a lot of performance issues. If you worked with Power BI Desktop early days in 2015, uh, default uh, configuration of Power BI Desktop was both directional relationship. That time I got a lot of calls and emails from my clients all around the world that uh, my Power BI model is slow, what to do. And the reason was obviously both directional relationship. So that means uh, both directional relationship comes at a cost and that cost is a performance issue, which is a big cost. So what should you do when you have these scenarios? First thing and the most important thing is that you have to think about how to change your model, how to do modeling differently. You need to design a proper data model and proper data modeling design is not something I can talk about it in just one single video. It takes um, like, uh, hours, days to talk about it. Data modeling is quite a big topic by itself. I'll do some videos later on about explaining how proper data modeling can look like. Uh, so first thing is that you should design a proper data model. Sometimes you need to combine some tables together. Sometimes you need to flatten. Sometimes you need to start create a star schema. That is one thing. Then the second thing, if the method if you tried method number one and you did a really perfect data model, but still you need to have sometimes both directional relationship, then you can use another method, which is a DAX function called cross filter. Cross filter function will uh, give you ability to keep the current relationship as single directional, but write a measure with cross filter, which only for that measure use this relationship as both directional, which is much better way of doing that rather than just changing the whole relationship because that time you will have all time performance issues. This time only if you use that specific measure. Both of these methods needs more explanation. I will uh, explain more about these later on. In this video, I just wanted to show you what the direction of relationship is and what is the difference between both directional relationship and single directional relationship. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in a comment below. I have written a blog post with the step-by-step -step details of this. Uh, the link is right below in this video. If you like to learn more about Power BI, go ahead and subscribe uh, to our video YouTube channel. Thank you.